Hello everyone, my name is Hao. I believe that many people have already know that iPhone 6 is gonna be released in this summer, probably with a high-tech Sapphire screen. Two months ago, Apple ordered a large amount of Sapphire screens from a company named GT Advanced Technology. Many experts consider this action as a proof that iPhone 6 will aim at with a Sapphire screen, while some experts agree that iPhone 6 will still equip with Gorilla glasses. I'm not an expert, I will bring you guys a detailed compression between the two screens. First, let's talk about the Gorilla Glass, which has been used since iPhone 4. Compared to normal glass, it is much harder. The hardness of a substance can be told through the Mohr's scale of material hardness. We check that the Mohr's hardness for Gorilla Glass is 7.5, and we can find here the normal glass is 5.5. The reason for that is Gorilla Glass have a special craft called Ionic Exchange. The glass is placed in a hot bath of molten salt. Smaller sodium ions leave the glass and large potassium ions form the salt bath replace them. These large ions take up more room and are pressed together when the glass cools, producing a layer of compressive stress on the surface of the glass. Here you may ask question, why the potassium is larger than sodium? The reason for that is the radius of the potassium is bigger than the sodium. But why the radius will be different? Let's see a cartoon. Follow the alpha principle. Write down the quantum numbers for sodium and potassium. Now, we can easily discover that potassium gains two more subshows than sodium. The difference in the electron distribution results in their difference in radius. Because of the large size of the potassium, if anything is gonna destroy the surface of the glass, it must pass through this tight potassium layer first. Here, I also want to mention something about the bond created by the potassium. Through electron activity, we can easily know that was the ionic bond, which is very stable. With the character of the potassium bond, if the glass be bent, the bond won't be destroyed as you see. After the force is removed, the bond will back to its original position. That makes this glass also pliable. But when we check the most hardness scale again, we find the most hardness for sapphire is much higher than the gorilla glass. In another world, only the diamond can go the sapphire in the world. In this video, the sapphire screen was scratched by a concrete. We can see there was no damage on the sapphire screen. However, the gorilla glass cannot bear that. Let's talk about that. The hardness of a substance is dependent on the arrangement of its atom, ion, or molecules. For gorilla glass, the tight potassium layer is only in the surface of the screen. The molecules inside the screen were very mass. The basic structure for both diamond and sapphire is tetrahedral. However, they are arranged in different ways. There was a special name for the structure of the sapphire, which is called hexagonal crystal system. Depending on that, diamond and sapphire are the hardest material in the world. After the hardness, let's talk about the energy. To produce one more of gorilla glass, it was a chemical change, and that was the same with the normal glass. Here we use the knowledge of a standard enthalpy of formation to find the energy contribution for one more of gorilla glass. This 10% is for the efficiency of the machine. A special craft called Chukraski is used in the production of the sapphire.
because that was a physical change, so we can only use the calorimeter calculations to find out the energy. Comparing these two data, the Gloria glass is more environmental. Finally, the luminousness for Gorilla Glass and Sapphire is 80% and 95% respectively. Which means if the iPhone 6 equipped with the Gorilla Glass, it needs more strong battery to let the phone's performance purchase the Sapphire screen. The battery that the iPhone used is called a lithium battery. The area for the battery is when the battery is charged, the electron goes through the wire from anode to cathode, and the lithium ion from the anode to cathode inside. The same thing happens when it is charged, but from cathode to anode. So, even though iPhone 6 equipped with the environmental glory glass, it will affect the environment through the battery anyway. In conclusion, the gray glass is pliable but power consumption. Sapphire is hardness but energy dissipation. In our impression, Apple always emphasizes on the performance of its products, so it is more likely for Apple to use Sapphire screen. However, Jobs has gone and we haven't no cookware. Let's wait and see what will happen in this summer. <laughs>